Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to look at designing websites with grids and in particular an introduction to the 960 grid system. Grid page layouts are not new in design, they have deep roots in traditional printed graphic media. However, it's only recently that web designers and developers have started to show a real interest in using them. In response to this, many online grid frameworks have been launched and become established including uh, the gridsystem.org, designed by grid.org, and my personal favourite, 960.gs, which is the 960 grid system. The 960 grid system is based on the principle of designing a website to the fixed width of 960 pixels. 960 pixel wide websites will easily fit within the average minimum monitor resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels. In addition to this, 960 number is divisible by 234, 567, 10, and so on making it a highly flexible number to work with when dividing your layout up into columns. So it's difficult for us to sit here and try and explain how these factors can help. So let's jump on a computer and take a look at the 960 grid system website and also the downloadable files. So simply go to www.960.gs and you'll get the 960 grid system website uh, like I have here. And there's loads of uh, great resources on the website. There's the uh, download where you can download all the templates for uh, Flash, Fireworks, InDesign, etc. that we'll download in a second. And there's also some other great tools here for um, directly developing websites like a custom CSS generator, for example, which is worth uh, taking a look at. And the website in general will give you a bit of an idea, uh, a little bit more information about the 960 grid system. And one of the other cool things is they actually have quite a few examples uh, right here on their homepage and they have a little um, show grid button that lets you see how they've used the 960 grid system to develop their web pages. So quite useful. So uh, as a web designer I like to um, develop a lot of my designs initially in Photoshop while they're in the prototype stages. Uh, and whichever program you use you might find it helpful to download the resource pack from the 960 grid system. So I've downloaded that onto my desktop and I've unzipped it. And inside here, if you go into templates, you'll see that you can get the 960 grid system templates for um, most of the major um, graphic uh, softwares. So let's uh, perhaps open up the Photoshop and maybe the 12 column grid. Now what you'll start with when you open the file is a document like this. It simply has um, one layer with the uh, 12 columns that represent the 960 grid system. If you uh, show your uh, rulers or guides, you'll see that you also get a little bit of padding to indicate how they, uh, how they are separated. Now working with this document in Photoshop, you can quite literally build up a website and just choose to hide the rulers and also hide the grid system and bring it back at any stage. So once you get to the uh, level where you're developing a website using the grid system, uh, you can see how easy it is to simply line up elements on your page um, you know whether you've got columns of one, two, three, four, uh, or even six, like in this example, um, tabs or uh, text areas. Um, the grids columns that from the th from the 960 grid system do come in uh, in handy when you're aligning various elements on the page. And like I said, you can uh, freely hide and show the guides, the grid system layer itself, and it's quite a useful asset when working um, in programs like Photoshop to develop your web pages. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you have any questions, comments or contributions, please leave them on the supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.